This is one of my favorite topics, macros. Frequently asked questions. How do I achieve the toned look? How do I burn fat? How do I lose weight? How do I get all this stubborn body fat off? How do I look in the mirror and actually love what I look like? I hear this all the time. And it's sometimes hard to achieve the look we want when we are unsure what we're putting on our plate. And the American Standard Diet is high in carbs, high in fat, and includes very little protein. So this lesson is all about macros. It's super important, it's gonna be super valuable. So let's briefly touch on macros, why they're important, because macros are the foods that make up the calories we eat. You may have even heard the word macro get thrown around and you're like, what, macros, I have to count them, what are they? Um, and no matter what training plan, lifestyle, or diet plan you're on, all three macronutrients are a part of every single plan because they're what make up the calories of the foods we eat. So every diet consists of macros, but when you hear someone saying that they're tracking macros or they're on a macro diet, the only thing that means is that they're tracking their ratio of protein, carbs, and fats rather than just tracking the calories alone. And you may be wondering, okay, well, what is better? Should I be counting calories? Should I be counting macros? What's the difference? So in this video, we're actually gonna review the importance of macronutrients and the role they play, because it's important to know why we need these things. And it will also gonna review why most people feel stuck in their weight loss and the most efficient way to really build your plate, your plate for long-term success is really knowing all of these macronutrients. So having all three macronutrients in your nutrition daily is essential for a healthy and happy life. So that means protein, carbs, and fats are equally important. And here's why. So protein is the building block for muscle and it's super important for the longevity of our health and it also plays a huge role in our weight loss. And protein is needed to repair tissue um, and it's also needed to preserve muscle. It's the building block of our organs, our muscles, our hormones, bones, hair, skin, nails, you name it, super important. So that's protein. So carbohydrates are our body's main source of fuel and our body needs carbs to operate optimally. They are also what fuels our workout performance, restores the glycogen in our muscles, which is the energy in our muscle, and it provides healthy fiber. And then lastly, our fats, they promote vitamin absorption and they're critical for nutrient absorption, uh, very critical for hormone and brain health as well. So all three macronutrients are very important. So let's dive into how our protein, carbs, and fats are calculated when it comes to our calories. So every one gram of protein equals four calories. Same goes for carbohydrates. So for every one gram of carbohydrates, that equals four calories. Fats, on the other hand, are higher. So for every one gram of fat, it is nine calories. So fats add up a lot faster and quicker than carbs and protein do. It doesn't mean that they're bad or that protein and carbs are better, but it just that's just how it adds up. So when you understand that, you will realize why keeping an eye out for how much fats are in your diet is important because it's very easy to have too much fats without even realizing. But when you realize why, because they just add up a lot more, then you know how to make the portions correct. So I want to keep this simple so you can really understand the role macronutrients have on our weight loss and our health. So I want you to imagine you had a Ferrari. Ooh. Uh, in order for your Ferrari to keep its beauty, you would need to detail and maintain it regularly. If you were to drive 100,000 miles in your Ferrari without ever detailing it, never maintaining it on a yearly basis, the car would eventually break down, the color would chip, the tires would become bare. You're going to probably look at that Ferrari and not recognize it anymore uh, because it's not going to hold its beauty and its structure like it did from the first time you had it. So, I'm talking about a Ferrari, you're probably like, okay, well, I don't have a Ferrari, and how is this related to my fitness and my health? 
Well, our body is very similar to that Ferrari. So imagine protein being the structure of your body. It's important that you feed your body with protein because when you feed your body with protein, you're able to build muscle. And the reason why building muscle is important is because that allows your body to burn more fat. So protein is the building block to our organs, muscle, hair, skin, nails, bones, you name it, like I mentioned earlier. And I wanna harp on that because it is important. Um, and it's also critical for enzyme and hormonal production. So if we start incorporating a sufficient amount of protein in our diet, then we can be on our way to achieving the toned look we always dreamed of, the, the fit look, the toned look. You can't do that without protein. And when we stop feeding our body with the right amount of protein, our body then starts breaking down similarly to the Ferrari that's breaking down when we haven't given it an oil change in 100,000 miles. So when that happens and our body starts breaking down, our body will start storing fat, which will not cause us to love what we look like in the mirror because we aren't feeding our body with what it needs for us to achieve that look we're going for. So once we maintain the structure of the Ferrari, we also need to make sure that it runs efficiently. Of course, if you have a Ferrari, you want it to run good. And in order for it to run, we need to fuel it with some gas. And when we bring the car to the gas station, we can fill it up with two sources. You always have the option. You can fill it with regular gas or you can fill it with premium gas. Now, obviously, if you had a Ferrari, we all know that the Ferrari is going to run a lot faster and smoother if we fill it with premium. So let's get back to how this is similar to our body. Our body has two fuel sources and that's carbohydrates and fats. Now, if we brought our Ferrari to the gas station and we filled it with a full tank of regular gas and a full tank of premium gas, we're going to make a big mess. It's going to overflow, it's gonna go all over the place, and it's going to be a disaster, obviously, if you're filling up your car with two different fuel sources. And the reason why I want you to picture that is because our body actually operates the same way. If we feed our body with high amounts of fats and high amounts of carbs, our body is going to hold on to all that extra food as fat. So unlike the car where the gas just overflows, our body is going to hold on to it. So we want to choose a main fuel source that we aren't, you know, overeating both carbs and fats. So this is where a lot of questions come in. You know, what should my main fuel source be? So depending on the person, some people run optimally on high carb, lower fat. And then some people run optimally on high fat and low carb. And some take a more balanced approach as well. So in my opinion, if you are consistently working out, high carb and lower fat is more sustainable. And I'm not saying low fat, meaning super duper low, but it's just not at the same place as your carbs. Um, and it's more sustainable and it's more beneficial. Uh, but if someone can sustain a low carb, high fat diet, then that could be a good choice for them as long as they could do that for the rest of them, their lives. But again, you still can't go too low. So we do not want to overload our plate with high carb, high fat, and low protein. So rather than going to the standard American diet, we want to start focusing on feeding ourselves with a sufficient amount of protein, all while having an efficient amount of carbohydrates with some fats. So when you start filling your plate with the right foods, with the right balance, this is what will allow your body to build muscle, burn fat, fire up your metabolism, and help you get one step closer to the body of your dreams. So when you're building your plate with the 920 rule, following the meal plan table, you will in fact be designing your plate for success. The reason why is because you'll no longer be overeating carbs and overeating fats and neglecting protein. Instead, you'll be welcoming all the macronutrients because again, all three are very important. You'll be introducing all the macronutrients into your meal, but with a balanced amount of each. So when we focus on macronutrients rather than the calorie intake, this is what gives long-term sustainable results along with the most effective for weight loss. Because I mentioned earlier, 
um, in, in this video, the difference between tracking calories or tracking macros. And the reason why uh, tracking macros is more important is if we start tracking calories only, we can easily get to 1400 calories with just carbs and fats alone with very little protein. And you would never know because you're just tracking calories. And we already know that if that happens, we're not going to be in a good situation. So instead, we want to make sure if we're eating 1400 calories, for example, um, it could be any calorie range, but those calories are coming from protein, carbs, and fats, rather than neglecting one, which in most cases is protein. Protein is typically always the one that's being neglected if not being focused on. So you can mentally track and get a hold of your macronutrients without tracking once you learn about the foods that make up your plate because then you'll be able to design it always for success without always having to track. So it's important to not just focus on calories. You want to look at a label and you want to look at other things, not just see a calorie number because sometimes people will look at it and be like, oh, this is 100 calories, we're good. But that does not benefit you in any way because you still do not know what those calories are made up from. So we will dive into how to read a nutrition label and how to determine the foods that make up our plate in another video. So I do hope this was helpful and I hope that you still now understand the difference and what our macronutrients are. And remember, our body needs all three macronutrients and getting rid of one entirely is never a good thing. So go ahead, let's crush this week, let's achieve greatness, and I'll see you soon.